Hey there everyone, let's play something unstressful and click inside the window. I really do like that he makes all of the options accessible through the controller too. It's very nice to not have to switch control modality like that. Didn't... Didn't I already play this? Probably... Uh, might have been one of the recordings I broke. Oh well. So I've been designing something and I kind of need to not break my brain so I thought I'd play this for a video or two. I did already play part of this. I don't know. Oh well. Chest! Matt likes grabbing chests. Who can blame him? Wait, that silver coininess means I've already collected that. I must have died in this level. This is what happens when you don't play a game for like a freaking month. And I meant to play this like whole thing straight through. Now I feel like a jerk for not doing it, but oh crap. But oh well. Wait. Science! Okay. Let's get over here. Hooray! More life. That's... whoa. That's good. Gonna need that. I've been dying more than I kind of thought I would this early on. Already done that, my good man. Once again, I really do like the continuing tutorial style. Instead of just, you know, barfing out 1800 instructions on one screen and be like, Yeah, you can make sense of that. I don't need to guide you through anything, and... I'll just do whatever the hell I want for the rest of the game and not explain anything. Ooh, secrets. Let's do secrets first and then jump down, because I don't think we can get back up there. I distinctly remember playing this. I'm pretty sure I did this on camera, but maybe... Maybe I... Failed, I... Hmm. Well, I'll be editing it out if I... Turns out I already did upload it, so I should really just not talk about it and continue commentating like I never played any of this. In fact, I didn't. I just had a cerebral hemorrhage and I no longer remember anything, so let's talk about it like it's new. Once again, I really like the subtle um, differences between some of these enemies, like some of the bats are a little bigger. Though these two are identical. Die. And I needed that heart, but I can't get it. Pretty Eclipse! I love the little touches like that. Like, you get to the top and then something pretty is there, and then you probably fall to your death. No! No falling to our death! That's even nicer than pretty things. Because if you die, you can't appreciate pretty things. And that's just sad. Wait, do I have healingness? That's not healingness. That's not healingness! What button is my... I mapped one of these to magic. Okay. Okay, we're gonna make that... those spells. I don't remember which button is which anymore. Okay. Well, never mind then. We're healed, so that's all that matters. Stupid slimes. Stupid bushes! Every time that piano thing comes on, it makes me think of Piano Cat. The little, the little riff he plays sounds a lot like that. And it kind of bugs me, because I want to enjoy the music without thinking of that. And now I can't. And now that I said it, you're probably thinking that too, so I probably shouldn't have said it. Oh well. Stupid coin! I thought I grabbed you. I'm going to grab all of the coins. I am a coin molester. And I'm wanted in three states. Stupid bush! Ah! Giant bush! Die! Smashy smashy! Did the hearts heal you completely or just partially? Well, I know those heal you completely. Keep forgetting you can do neat stuff like slash up. The up slash can be really helpful because it's a nice wide swipe. Stabby stabby isn't 
as great. I think it's a little faster, though. Hey! Murder. I like how I managed to take a hit there. Die. You know, for being slightly difficult and a platformer, this game is really relaxing. Or maybe it's just because I've been stressing over this design thing for three hours now. Oh, right. Do you can see some of the bridge bits are a little different colored and they fall away. But he makes it so that... Ooh, new sword. So it's always possible to live. Oh, and I love the little arrows indicating you can jump down here, you won't die. That's always very nice and reassuring because lots of games will just not indicate, you know, whether something will kill you or not. And they'll just expect you to make a jump like this even though it really feels like you should fall down and die here. Which, in this case, you would. Make sure you check out the options menu and change difficulty if you find the game too hard or too easy. And always hug kitties. Back to the menu, please. Seems to have frozen for a second. Um... Well, Flash crashed! Isn't that great? might have something to do with the 20 tabs I have open, also. But I'm not closing them. Gonna need those right now. I like the little guiding text here. And aren't you supposed to be kidnapped? Oh well. I'll for forgive you because you're helpful user interface element. Let's equip that new sword! Son of a bitch. If I have to play- oh. Be right back. Yeah. Flash crashed, not the game's fault, probably. I hate you, Flash. It didn't crash that time. And see, it has that little new equipment available pop-up. Which I really like that. What does this do? 10% magic attack. Ooh, faster slashes, definitely. Buy some new spells. I like that little call-out, too. Because that's also another thing you can easily forget to do, is actually use the money you're getting. Can we fight? No, we're not fighting a boss yet. I don't think. It's just to get more healiness. And we'll get that one for later. And that's all I need to do. I should be using my controller for everything, so... But oh well. It's nice that he'll let you use the mouse too, because... Generally speaking, Flash games, that's how you interact. Ooh, I like this sword. Hey, Mr. Batface. Hey! Don't break from under- Hey! What did I just say? These bridges are jerks. Freaking unsupported platforms not supporting weight? That's ridiculous. I call hacks. Who built these structures anyway? You always gotta wonder that. Oh, hey, secret area thinger. Come here. Not really sure why I go out of my way to kill everything. But I do. If you destroy wooden platforms, you'll have to leave the area and come back again to reset them. So this is... <laughs> this might be the first area where you actually need the destructible platforms. You know, you might be screwed if you break all of them, but... It's an optional area, and you can reset it, so that's nice, instead of just make, making you die and not telling you what the problem was. Which lots of games are very happy to let you do. Come here. Oh, these don't break. Hmm. Hey, we got a rope thinger. Though I'm not sure if that... I don't think that level would have been po impossible if you didn't, um... If you broke all the platforms and then tried to do it again, but maybe it is in the future. I have not encountered a level where that's necessary, or that's... where that happens yet. Oh, these! Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, you gotta be careful with these, because if you break them in the wrong order, you fall in. But it's still not an instant kill, because it just takes however much damage that stuff does. 
however much damage falling does, rather. Come here. Stab you in the face. Also, one thing I like about... Ow. You didn't spit the bubble! When they spit the giant bubble, you can bounce it back at him. I guess this guy's a jerk and he doesn't want to do it, though. Freaking trees vomiting poison at you! Oh, that's a lot of bats. I shall steal your treasures, bats. I shall live to tell the tale. Stab you in the face. I shall live to tell you the tale of stabbing you in the face. People usually hate when I tell them that story. Especially when it ends with me stabbing them in the face. People have told me they don't like my stories. Not when they end like that. I might be in trouble here. Let's see if I'm in trouble. Nah, I'm fine. Okay. You don't want to mess up on the middle one like that, though. So there's some lenience in there on the, on the top one you can break. Stab you in the face. Get your coins. Kill your dudes. Get your base. It's getting later and later as we go on, I've noticed. Which that's a nice touch. These! The, 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 that was not what I intended to do. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Just calm down. I said calm down! We're gonna, I'm gonna show you this. And you're gonna like it. You can deflect these. I don't think they do damage back. No, they don't. But it's neat. Not sure if we need to go down there or not. I'm gonna say we do, because it's not time to end the level yet. We don't have all the things. You must get all of the things. Yay! Because things make you level up. Or let you have money, or other things. Things are good, that's basically the, the bullet point presentation of this. Ooh! Oh hey, it's got two secret areas. Warning, danger! Not sure if the- Whoa! Whoa! Chill out. Okay. Wouldn't just saying danger be exactly as effective? I mean, seems kind of redundant in a non-helpful way. The redundancy always... Ah. Yes! Haha. <laughs> I thought I had to jump on that, do the bouncy jump thingy, but I didn't. But, uh, redundancy isn't always a bad thing. It can help clarify things. A good example, everyone hates when people, well, some people hate when people say pin number, because the N in pin is number, so it's your personal identification number number, but the redundancy that affords actually lets you know what a pin number is, even if you don't know what pin stands for. You know it's a number because people say pin number, and I'm missing six coins, which sucks. See, if there were redundant coins I could have also collected, that would have been helpful. And cheating, but still. Well, crap. Not a big deal. I'll go get those later. New equipment. I see a boss. What's this to do? Mage rope. Yeah, we're not gonna need that. I barely even remember to use my magic. Yeah, that. I'm thinking that's a boss. Yeah, I got that temper. I don't. I don't really need any of the rest of that stuff. Let's make sure I actually equip temper, though. Bush battle. Uh, let's do that. Okie dokie. Jump when the ground shakes. Remember that most enemy projectiles can be destroyed or knocked back. And I like when games do that. I like when games knock me into a pit. That would explain a lot. So are there going to be ten treasure chests in this one too? So is this... oh. I would assume not. I like the music. I always like the music. I'm gonna turn that up. And you're gonna see my bar and like it. What? Lance! Give Natty back, you butt face. Your face is a butt. Oh, right. Aha! Guess he's invincible when he's blinky. Which is an interesting bit of learning. After playing video games, you learn that blinking equals invincible. Just because it's a convention. And a pretty necessary one, because bosses often need invincibility like this dude. 
especially exemplified in the Mega Man games, it's very essential for the bosses to have... Uh, what do you call that? Invincibility frames. Because otherwise they'd be too easy. Especially when you have frickin' Metal Man's attack. Cheap as hell. So this boss is basically a tutorial of how to deflect projectiles and avoid the ground shaky attack. Which, oop. I should watch my health! Kinda wasn't thinking of that. Oh well. This is why I'm glad he didn't make it a full level plus a boss, because going back through a whole level <laughs> would have been annoying. Stab you in the face! Stab you more in the face. Okay, watch your health this time. It's like popping bubble wrap. Bubble wrap that's trying to kill you. Doesn't your bubble wrap try to kill you? Mine always does. It makes me like bubble wrap less, actually. It's just not as fun when it's trying to murder you. And of course the heart spawns on the frickin' boss. That is one angry looking bush. I mean I think I think you got some anger issues there, buddy. I mean you can frickin' see the hate in his eyes. Look at that. And his little furrowed like brow of like leaves. I'm not sure how trees have brows, but he does, and they're he's frickin' He's gonna bust an artery. And now he's sad. Oh that those hurt, apparently. Oh right, that was ow! I was supposed to be using temper this whole time. The little attack boosty thingy. Run! Aha! And... You... Die. Uh-oh. Way to have invincibility frames at the wrong time, jerk. Whoa! Hey! He was made of smaller hymns. That's weird. Oh! So it is a full level, the boss is just first. That's- it. oh. No, it's not a full level, it's just full of treasure! Which is awesome. My god, it's full of treasure. Whee! I did not realize that the pound coin was a generic coin with a star on it. That's actually kind of awesome. I want a real world currency that's like video game generic money. I will buy some new spells, thank you. Um, so the problem is I ne I'll never use any of these. Well, I'll... okay. The heal I tried to remember to use. Hmm. And I think that N means the difficulty you beat it on. We're gonna test that theory. On hard. So, next level thingy, we're gonna play Sandstorm Cliffs on hard. <laughs> 